Ron Johnson vlog videos about relationships. And the point of me shooting this video is all of us are facing a lot of difficulty in relationships. They're not easy and they can be difficult. You try to put two people to work together to make a perfect relationship. Now, this is the fifth re reason why relationships fail. And the first thing is the reason why relationships fail is they will be linked this below on the first, second, third, and fourth reason. If you're on YouTube, if you're on LinkedIn, same thing. I have my links down below. If you're on Instagram, let's go to Ron Johnson, Life Coach on YouTube and listen to my four videos on why relationships fail. So this is the fifth reason. The fifth reason is when we meet that person and we think they're perfect for us or the right fit or they what we dream about, the right place, right time, we stop working. And that's why I told my fiance, I says, look, you know, we're going to get in arguments. These things are going to happen. But we got to realize people change. And even though they're in a relationship, you have to keep working. Just because you get together does not mean things start working. And if you have kids, now what happens, you put a new dynamic into the mix. And maybe it makes the relationship better or it can make it worse. But now you got two people, husband and wife, let's say. The wife is growing in her career. The husband's growing in his business or his career. And now you have a child here. Now you got to get all this stuff together and make it work. So if you get to a relationship and you stop working on it, that's when it stops growing. You got to continue to work on a relationship. Find what things you can do as a routine and make you guys happy. Date night on the weekends, go on trips, bike rides, hiking, maybe play a board game together. Maybe you sit down and say, you know what, what things about our relationship that we're happy in the beginning, but now we're bored, we're kind of used to routine. What have we lost? Discuss your days together. Now, what I hate when I heard this is when my fiance was going to her friends because she was afraid I was going to coach her about relationships. And yes, I am a coach. And yes, I do ask a lot of questions because I don't want to mind reading anybody. But I learned one Bible lesson. People just wanted to let it out. So why, instead of her going to her friends, I want her to come to me because I want her to get her emotions out and tell me what's going on. Because if she can't continue to go to her friends, it creates a bigger divide between us. So that's why I brought to her attention, she brought to my attention, and we're going to work on making it better. How can I work on myself to make a relationship better? How should we work on ourselves and make a relationship better? Working relationship, just like working education, never stops. So continue to keep working your relationships. Continue to improve. Find out what the problem is. Find out where you guys can meet together and be happy. Do not get bored in a relationship and do not go along with routine because it is routine. Dropping the kids off at school, picking them up, go to work, make dinner, and the same routine over and over. And that's where you guys start to divide. So keep working relationships. If you want to know more about how to build a relationship with yourself, because remember, yourself is into a relationship, go www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com, hit the subscribe the call button, or join one of my master classes on positivity, because it's when you and I can grow together. Thanks for